how to stop being insecure and actually feel confident in 2021. Look, the time has come, people, right? If you're a guy, if you're a girl, it doesn't matter. You need to level up and actually be confident in yourself. So stick around, watch this entire video, and let me explain to you how I did this in my life and the changes that I experienced. Short and talk is cheap, so fuck what people say. When I was 12, a crazy lady told me lead the way. I shed a tear cause it was rare, I swore to never stray. Now, now every second is a classic when nothing lasts. Gotta take a moment and appreciate the fact that this world is turning faster and faster. And when she felt the real, it's hard to tolerate the plastic. Kings and Queens, welcome to my channel or welcome back to the channel. My name's Abdul, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to actually be confident in 2021. Now, first things first, you cannot fake confidence. I've said this in the last video that I made about confidence, and I'll say it again in this video. You cannot fake confidence. Either you are confident or you're not. And so if you're feeling insecure, okay. Be insecure, be 100% insecure, and know that you want to work toward confidence and actually being confident. Now, the second thing is that when I was going through my, you know, development journey and just becoming my best self, there was one thing that I always did. I would watch these dating and kind of alpha male type people on youtube and what they would always say is you know try this out right look her in her eyes right you know maintain that frame and of course all confident men do this to some extent but the thing is you need to stop doing these little gimmicky things right it's not just because now you're licking her in her eyes all of a sudden you're confident no that's just something that you're doing it's not what you actually are right if you're insecure and you feel insecure regardless of how many girls you look dead in the eyeballs you're still going to portray that energy energy is a lot more noticeable and effective than doing a certain thing so once you fix your energy and you resemble the energy of your most confident self now you will actually do what confident men or women do all right that is <laughs> the biggest biggest key and advice that i will give you guys now the things i would do is i would just go and approach different girls it doesn't matter if she was cute not cute but i just wanted to you know develop that that ability to just go and talk to different girls and just you know spark up a conversation i don't really care where it ended up i just wanted to be able to do that majority of these conversations wouldn't end up anywhere or i would maybe get their number get their snapchat whatever it may be but i would still feel insecure and I wouldn't actually feel the need to, you know, actually spark up a conversation afterwards, right? To actually hit them up. I would just get their snap, get their number, and I would just be like, all right, I did it. I don't really care, right? I would literally just practice that. And I got to the point where I could do it, right? I could go talk to a girl and get her, get her number. But majority of these girls, I wasn't really interested in, right? I didn't really care about. And so it never actually led anywhere and so the thing that i would say for you is look you can you know practice going up and talking to girls or going up and talking to guys whatever it may be but approaching girls you need to have a reason a purpose a confident man or a confident girl wouldn't just waste their time just talking to a bunch of different girls if you genuinely feel attracted to this person go ahead and go talk to them right that's you know all you're doing is talking it doesn't really matter whether whether it goes anywhere or not but the ability to just spark up a conversation is very very important but make sure that you're doing it with people that you are genuinely attracted to don't waste your energy and don't waste your time very simple very important now, the second thing that you have to understand is that being confident is a full-time thing. You can't feel insecure sometimes and then be confident at other times, right? Now, if you feel insecure right now, that's okay. Accept it. Fully be insecure, right? I've already mentioned that. But if you want to make this transition to being confident, you need to understand that whenever you do have insecure thoughts or you feel insecure, don't run away from them. You need to shift your attention to being confident. Ask yourself, what does the confident version of you think like? What does the confident version of you feel like? And instead of saying, oh, I will never get that girl, I'm just, or I will never get that guy, I'm just not good enough, I, I'm just awful, this, that, whatever, you need to shift your perspective to the confident version of that same statement, right? I'm never good enough, no, that's what an insecure person would say, and they would believe that. But the confident version of you is that I'm insecure right now, but I am becoming confident, right? Literally, just this small shift in your perspective can change the world because more and more that you do this, eventually you'll get to this point where you're like, oh, I'm becoming confident. 
I'm becoming confident. I am confident. And now you're already internally, your thoughts and your feelings resemble that of a confident person. And now if you see a girl that you are attracted to or you see a guy that you are attracted to, you will do what the confident version of you does, right? The goal is not to just, you know, do more gimmicky, you know, things and, you know, techniques and, oh, look at her in her eyes, maintain this frame, wear, you know, dress nice. Oh, all of those things, yeah, they work to a certain extent. But the state of being, of, like where it's coming from is the most important thing. And a lot of people notice your energy before they notice whatever thing that you do, okay? Now, look. This is a full time thing, right? So if you're if you're if you're confident, there are certain things that you do and you take care of yourself, right? You work out, maybe you have a job, you're getting some type of income, you're doing things for you, right? You're becoming better every single day, right? And you're not doing this so that other people can glorify you and say, Oh, look at that person, whatever, whatever. You're doing this for you. You genuinely care about yourself and you want to show up for you, right? The insecure version of yourself, what they would do is they would do everything that they do to have other people validate them and say oh wow you're doing this you're doing this so well and what this does that doesn't help you with anything right you do everything that you're doing you're working out right you're, you're going to you know you're going to work and you're getting everything that you want you're becoming better but you're not doing it for you right you're not supporting and growing for you you're doing it for other people so that they can validate you and this is not how you become confident this is how you stay insecure because everything you do you do for other people but show up for yourself a confident person will show up for themselves right remember you are continuously becoming confident until you get to the point where you are confident right this is the biggest thing because you're not just going to be confident overnight right so remember continuously show up for yourself and remember that being confident is something that's consistent right you're confident that your car works because you drive it every day right you you would be confident in yourself if you showed up for yourself every single day so treat yourself like the best version of yourself and take care of yourself show yourself some love right be proud of yourself and know that everything that you want will eventually happen i love you guys i appreciate you and I genuinely hope that this video helped you out and if it did make sure to like comment and subscribe so with all that being said the one-on-one -on -one consults have opened up for the intentional life transformation program if you want to become confident and you want to become the greatest version of yourself then look set up a one-to-one -one meeting with me and I would love to help identify your problems and help you become the greatest version of yourself number two I am building a massive Facebook group with like-minded people who are also invested in themselves and in their growth. So if you want to join this group and be around people who are becoming better and want to be better, the link for that will be in the description down below as well. But lastly, I have created a five-day free intentional life transformation program so that you can have access to the resources that I teach my clients and my students in my one-on-one -on -one coaching. So... The link for that will be in the description down below as well. But lastly, yo, I appreciate you and I love you and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.